Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Classical Republican. Uh, in a previous video, I talked about the differing party, party systems, uh, mentioning the multi, two, and one party systems. I divided the one party system into uh, two subcategories, where one version, uh, the party dominates and even outlaws other parties, uh, and this is intolerable to classical Republicans. While the other is tolerable, it mostly earned its way to supermajority uh, and works as a stable institution. The party does not outlaw other parties and does not control all other institutions in a dominating manner. For example, I live in Idaho, where the Republican Party holds all statewide and federal uh, offices and a supermajority in both houses of the legislature. The Republican Party is a very powerful and important institution, however, it does not dominate directly over all other institutions. The House and Senate still have institutional pride, as they should, and are able to provide checks and balances on others to resist domination. Something like tricameralism. And they resist so much to the point that party officials get very mad that they don't get what they want from the legislature, and this happens every session. The elected officials do this because they realize they are the party of governance and therefore have a responsibility to govern as elected officials for everyone in their district or, or in the state of Idaho, and they don't govern uh, just for the party. Uh, at least that is what has been happening until recently. Now, there have been clashes between the conservatives and ultra-conservatives in Idaho's past, but next time we will talk about the current clash as we gear up for an epic primary election this May. Long live the Republic!